Well, 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 welcome back. So we need to talk about arithmetic operators because, well, this wouldn't be a full course without them. So as you probably know, arithmetic operators are, well, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and there's a few others too unique with programming, such as modulus, increment, and decrement. So let's go over a few. Let's say that we have int z, and if we need to add two numbers, we could say x plus y, equals z and then display the sum which of course is seven so subtraction is well minus five minus two is three multiplication is an asterisk five times two equals ten okay now pay attention to this with division so five divided by two equals 2.5 right well that's where you're wrong it's two because we're storing the result within an integer and with integers we can only store whole numbers so we will lose that decimal portion. It will be truncated. There's a few things we'll need to change. First, we'll need to store the result within a float or a double. And then let's display this. Percent %f for a float. Okay, another thing that we need to change too. And that involves integer division. If we're dividing by an integer, we'll truncate that decimal portion. There's one of two things we can do. We can either change our divisor to a float or a double. And that will solve that problem, 2.5. Or if we would like to keep this as an integer, we can convert this integer to a float or double by preceding the divisor with float or double, either one. So if I would like to keep y as an integer and we divide x by y, we will convert 2 into a float, so 2.0 and store the result within float z, and the result is 2.5. So if you're performing division with any integers, you need to pay attention to integer division, and you may need to cast your divisor as a float or as a double. Now we have modulus. Modulus gives you the remainder of any division. Five does not divide by two evenly. Int z equals x modulus y. And if we display z, so make sure to change your format specifier if you didn't. The remainder of five divided by two is one. If this was four, four divides by two evenly, and the result is going to be zero. Modulus gives you the remainder of any division. It's actually pretty helpful to find if a number is even or odd. All you do is say modulus two, or some variable containing the value of two, either way. And then we can increment or decrement a number by one. If I need to increment x for some reason, you'll see this when we get to the video on loops. I could say x plus plus, and then let's display x. x incremented by one would be six. And then let's decrement y, y minus minus, and y decremented by one equals one. So yeah, everybody, those are a few arithmetic operators. A lot of these are fairly simple. You know, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Do pay attention to integer division because that can throw off your program. Then there's also modulus, increment, and decrement. If you found this video helpful, please remember to smash that like button, leave a random comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.